Hey guys, Brian here from Better Chest Training. And uh, today I wanted to just make a very quick video on how to create a course on Chessable. I'm gonna be very basic, but I'm gonna show you some of what I think are most important, important options to select when you're creating a course. So check it out. Hey guys, uh, today I wanted to just make a short video to show you the basics of creating a course on Chessable. And I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail in this video, but if there are features or things that you wanna know more about, then I will uh, show you how to do that. But uh, well, I just wanna show you the basics and what some of the different options are when you create a course. So here I am on my dashboard and I'm gonna create a new course. Okay, I'm gonna to go to the tools bar and click create a course. And I'm gonna call this uh, test course 2020, okay? And there are different options here, opening, tactics, strategy, end game. This doesn't really matter too much um, for your course unless you plan on uh, selling it or sharing it after publishing it. But typically uh, you would, you know, I, I still like to select what I want it to be. And let's call this a strategy course. For which pieces, I'm gonna say both and again, Typically, I will only pick a color if um, the course is an opening course. So I'm going to go ahead and submit it. And I'm going to go back to the dashboard. So here we see our test course 2020. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And then what you want to do next is go to Advanced Control Panel. Okay, and here you see all of these options. And we're not going to go over every single one, but I will point out a few that I think are important, the ones that I always change. These first few here are already pre-filled from our uh, creating the, of the course uh, functionality for color. And so the first one that you want to change here typically is to enable tactics functionality inside this course. So even with the uh, opening courses, I will enable this because sometimes I might want to do a uh, thematic tactic and uh, as you may know, if you, in Chessable, there's two ways to learn uh, the variations. If it is not a tactic, it will show you the move and then ask you to repeat the move. Whereas with tactics, it will not show you the move and you have to solve it. So there's going to be a lot of cases, especially other than an opening course, where you're going to want to have that. So you want to enable that. The other important, another important uh, option here is time. I like to go unlimited for many of my courses, but of course you can change that to whatever you need. For example, if you're doing like an easy tactics course, you wanna make it maybe like 30 seconds or 45 seconds, okay? Um, as we go down here, a lot of these, um, I don't really mess with too much, but one of the other ones I think is pretty important is this one here, default clickable sub variations um, whole book. And I always put yes. And let me just show you what that is. If you go to one of your variations here, um, you will go ahead and see the main line here, right? You can click through that, but uh, you could also look at these variations, sub variations. So here, rook to d8 in the game, queen to d7 was played, but let's see what happens if rook takes d8. Okay, and then you can see that. Now, if you go back here, if that is not selected, if this isn't selected, you're not going to be able to click and move those. And maybe there are some books where you don't necessarily want that to be uh, the case, but I typically do. So, <laughs> so uh, um, I just think that's a feature I always put on yes. Uh, another one I do here is to show PGA info on the variation detail page. And what that does, um, let me see if I actually have that. If you click here, on to, to view it, um, I might not have it activated for this one, but typically at the bottom of the, it will actually show the PGN where it was uploaded from the source game. And so I, I typically like to have that selected. I don't have it for this particular, uh, for this particular uh, course. Okay, uh, some of these other functions, skill level description are more, uh, of course you could always fill those in, but those are more applicable if you plan to publish your course. Okay, over here on the left, you see these um, di different menu options. And the next one you might want to look at, well, first let's look at 
manage chapter. And here you see the default, which is just the main level. Uh, I, I do like to use this one. Uh, I end up turning it usually into an introduction level, but sometimes if I'm working on a specific variation, I will put it in this level and then move it to the specific chapter later. But uh, important function here is to add a new chapter. So we'll call this, um, let's say, pawn structure. Let's say I'm making a course on that. I'll add a chapter. Let's add another chapter. We'll call uh, piece activity. Let's add that chapter. And then let's add one more. We'll call it King Safety. Okay. And we will add that chapter. So now we see those chapters here. You can actually move these around. Let's say I want to put King Safety here as the second chapter. Make sure you click Save the Ordering. Otherwise, you'll be surprised when you see that it's not there. Let's click on Manage Chapters. And we see that King Safety is indeed now moved to the second chapter. Okay. Uh, let's go over to our course and see what it looks like so far. We're going to browse. And here we are going to see um, that we have our chapters, okay? And here, uh, now, we're at this point, and now we want to add things. Typically, the way I'll do this, and I'm not going to show you here, but I could always create another video if you want, is you are going to, uh, you, I like to use other software. You can use the, uh, if it's an opening course, you can use the Opening Explorer, and you can use the analysis board to add variations. In fact, let me just show you that real quick. Let's say this was an opening course. And let me just make a few moves here. My uh, Roy Lopez. And let's say I wanted to add it. I'm going to click here to add to my course. And I know I'm going kind of quickly here. Okay, we're going to scroll down. And we're going to add that to Test Course 2020. And let's just put it in the main level for now. If you look at more options, you can, of course, um, change these if you want. But for now, let's just add that variation to the book. And then we want to see it. Okay. And here we have the, uh, the variation. Let's see it in our chapter. And here we have that. Now, from here, let's say, of course, the, we're looking at this from the white point of view. So we're going to go edit variations. And it is uh, for white. Okay, so that's going to put white on the bottom, and it's also going to help you solve for white. Um, and in this particular book, it looks like I did not uh, enable the, um, the tactics. So let's say I want to go back here to the control panel, enable tactics, and then we're going to save the details. Okay, let's go back. We're going to browse. Go back to here, and now we can edit variations again, and now we can actually change it into a tactic, okay? And of course, I, I am not going to do that for this particular one, but that's how you'd use the Opening Explorer to add a variation, okay? The other way to do it would be to import PGN. So I'm going to show you that, and then we will finish up. So you could switch to copy and paste. Let's say you have copied it from ChessX or from ChessBase, the uh, PGN, you could paste it in here, but you could also um, choose a file. And so I could choose a file here. Uh, let me go ahead and do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but I'm going to go ahead and copy this. This is from one of my games. And I'm going to select my course, Test Course 2020. And let's put this in my piece activity. Again, I'm just showing you the different examples. Now, here is a very important thing you need to do, okay? Uh, if you're making an opening course and you put all the variations that you want to test yourself on in that PGN, then you want to have this click, import all sub variations as their own item. However, if you just want the main line to be tested, you want to not click that. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself with 20 variations and you're going to have to either you're going to have to end up deleting variations that you didn't want. OK, so that's very important. I'm going to import it. We're going to add it, and now we're going to go uh, go see it. I always like to double check it. Here we have a new a new variation in piece activity, and here it is. Of course, I would edit this, but I just wanted to show you how that works. We're going to edit this. I was playing white. We're going to make that for white, and then let's say we want to make that a tactic, and 
Um, I'm just going to go back here and check it. It is white. And here, uh, I'm just going to show you what it looks like, even though... Um, so here, of course, this is a full game, so it's not necessarily the uh, best way. But you can see here that I am... Um, you can see it is, this is a tactic. It did not show me uh, what it was. So I'm actually going to go out here and um, we're going to exit the move trainer. I just wanted to demonstrate that it actually works. You want to check your variations to make sure they work. And so now, uh, right now I have a course with two variations. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it was fairly basic, but I know I've gotten questions about some of those options and of creating a course. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, you can check out, I have some other tips for Chessable over here. And uh, you can also sign up for my newsletter. I give uh, general chess tips and advice uh, every one or two weeks. I won't spam your inbox. And you could check that out in the description down below. Check out that link and sign up for that newsletter. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll talk to you soon.